larynx is voice box it is made up of different cartilages membranes ligaments and it will be acted by muscles first we have to discuss about the what is the skeleton of larynx if you take the skeleton of larynx there will be three paired cartilages and three unpaired cartilages if you take the first unpaired cartilages first cartilage is thyroid cartilage actually thyroid cartilage will be like this thyroid cartilage will be having the two laminae right and left laminae of thyroid cartilages are united and becomes a single thyroid cartilage that means see this is the right side and this is left side it will be like this two laminae of thyroid cartilages will be united in the anterior part and becomes a laryngeal prominence or adams apple but the posterior part or the posterior border of the laminae of thyroid cartilage is free both will not be fused like this only anterior ends only will be fused this is the fused part of both laminae actually upper part of the two laminae will not be fused here so that it forms a notch this notch what we are calling thyroid notch only lower part will be fused and forms a laryngeal prominence that means this is the right laminae and this is the left laminae actually this is outside inside will be behind so this is outside we know that anteriorly these two are fused with each other but the posteriorly they are not fused but posterior border gives superiorly one extension inferiorly another extension the superior extension or the superior projection what we are calling superior corno of thyroid cartilage inferior extension what we are calling inferior corno of thyroid cartilage so here also superior corno and inferior corno of thyroid cartilage then if two laminae are like this there will be inner surface and outer surface is it so this is inner surface inner surface is lined by mucous membrane and this is the outer surface so what you are seeing here this is outer surface so outer surface having two tubercles here one tubercle and here another tubercle here one tubercle and here one more tubercle right these two tubercles are connected by one line that line what we are calling oblique to line this is oblique to line this oblique to line gives attachment to the sternothyroid thyrohyoid and inferior constrictor of pharynx pharynx okay. so here two tubercles are there these two tubercles are connected by line that line what we are calling oblique line this oblique line will give attachment to mainly three muscles sterno thyroid another one is thyrohyoid and one more is inferior constrictor of pharynx then here this is inferior corno and this is also inferior corno these two inferior corno are articulated with one more cartilage that cartilage is cricoid cartilage and it forms a synovial joint so this is cricoid cartilage next to the thyroid cartilage we have to discuss about the cricoid cartilage so cricoid cartilage signet ring shaped cartilage that means if you see the cricoid cartilage in the side view it will be like this anterior it is narrow posterior it is broad it is looking like signet ring you know the signet ring right this is laminae and this is arch actually signet ring means it will be like this so this is the arch and this is the laminae this is also same this is the arch and this is laminae right so laminae will be present posteriorly arch will be present anteriorly that means if you take the side view of larynx this is the thyroid cartilage and here is the laminae laminae of cricoid cartilage and this is the arch of cricoid cartilage then just imagine we are seeing the larynx from behind in that case i am drawing the thyroid cartilage like this that means two laminae will draw like this this is thyroid cartilage if you see from this side you can see like this if you see from this side from behind you can see like this right now here what i can draw this is the laminae laminae of cricoid cartilage here this is laminae of cricoid cartilage over the laminae of cricoid cartilage there will be two more cartilages here they will be articulating like this this two cartilages what we are calling arytenoid cartilages so this is one arytenoid cartilage this is another arytenoid cartilage arytenoid cartilages are 
pyramidal in shape. Actually, they will be like this. This is the left arytenoid cartilage. If it is left arytenoid cartilage, this is the medial surface. This is the anterior position. This anterior position, what we are calling vocal process. And this is the lateral position. This lateral position, what we are calling muscular process. Right? And it is having the posterior surface. Imagine this is the posterior surface. And this is the lateral surface. This is the medial surface. Okay? And there will be projection up. I have drawn here. Here there will be apex. And this is the base. Base is resting over the cricoid cartilage. Apex is projecting up. Is it? So here apex, here medial surface, here posterior surface, here lateral surface. This is each process, vocal process, and this is muscular process. So here I could draw only apex. This is apex of arytenoid cartilage, and this is base. Okay. Of course, here medial surface will be, and here lateral surface. And if you go in front, you can see vocal process, and this is muscular process. That means arytenoid cartilage having the base, apex, vocal process, muscular process, medial surface, lateral surface, posterior surface. Right? These are the parts of arytenoid cartilage. Then over the apex of arytenoid cartilage, there will be two more cartilages, one on either side. These cartilages what we are calling carniculate cartilages. These two are the carniculate cartilages. Then there is a fold from the arytenoid cartilage to the epiglottis. That fold what we are calling airy epiglottic fold. Within the airy epiglottic fold, there will be one more cartilage, one on either side. Those cartilages are present in the airy epiglottic fold. What is airy epiglottic fold? I'll tell you. Within that airy epiglottic fold, there will be two cartilages. In one airy epiglottic fold, one cartilage. In another airy epiglottic fold, one more cartilage. These two cartilages are rod shaped cartilage. Those cartilages what we are calling cuneiform cartilages. So, till now what we have discussed, thyroid cartilage, tricard cartilage. These two are unpaid, two arytenoid cartilage, these are paid, two carnucleate cartilage, these are also paid, and cuneiform cartilage, they are also paid. Then what is missing here? One unpaid cartilage is there. That unpaid cartilage is what we are calling epiglottis. So this is epiglottis here. This is leaf-like structure. This is the epiglottis. This epiglottis having upper free border and two lateral borders are there. And it is having the root. It is attaching to the angle. See here, if it is thyroid cartilage, this is the angle. This is inside. Exactly at this place, this epiglottis is attached. Having two surfaces. Which surface is this? If it is attaching like this, here like this. So it is having laryngeal surface and front surface is there. That surface is related to the tongue. Okay, lingual surface. Here, laryngeal surface and this surface is lingual surface. Right? So, the surface which you are seeing here is laryngeal surface. Okay? That surface, the front surface is lingual surface. Right? Now, I have already told you from the lateral border of epiglottis to the arytenoid cartilage, there will be fold. This fold, what we are calling airy epiglottic fold. This fold is airy epiglottic fold. Within this airy epiglottic fold only rod shaped cartilages will be there. These rod shaped cartilages what we are calling cuneiform cartilages. Right? Clear now? Okay. Of course, in between the two arytenoid cartilages there will be one fold of mucous membrane. That fold of mucous membrane what we are calling interarytenoidal fold of mucous membrane. What is it? Interarytenoidal fold of mucous membrane. Here, this is interarytenoid fold of mucous membrane. Clear? So, these are the different cartilages and their related structures thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, arytenoid cartilage, and two carnicleate cartilages and two cuneiform cartilages. If you wanted to go still more minor details, within this fold, there will be one more uh, cartilage will be there. That cartilage is what we are calling cartilago triticia. Okay? Cartiligo triticia. Cartiligo triticia. Uh, cartiligo triticia. Right? So, that much minor details they will not ask. Okay? But you remember, these are the different cartilages. If you take the histology of laryngeal cartilages, thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, and base of arytenoid cartilage are hyaline cartilages. But apex of arytenoid cartilage, carnicleate cartilage, 
cuneiform cartilage and epiglottis or elastic cartilages okay so in the larynx we have discussed first element in the larynx that is cartilages of larynx right now the second element which we have to discuss is ligaments of larynx 